Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alexander Morose and today I will teach you how to uh, set up your personal hard drive uh, for your personal needs. So basically I'm gonna teach you how to set up your internal or external hard drive for your personal needs such as format it, um, uh, create more partitions, split it on partitions like disks, drives, create a multiple drives and disks how to uh, format from FAT32 to NTFS and from NTFS to FAT32 alright so basically let's assume that you purchase your hard drive and I purchased my hard drive as well and it's going to be a Western Digital Passport Elite which is 500 gigabyte version uh, of the external hard drive but keep in mind this video tutorial uh, will work on um, any uh, hard drives any internal or external hard drives and also it's gonna work on Windows XP and Windows Vista and Windows 7 any versions since on over here I'm running Windows XP Pro Service Pack 3 but it's also gonna work on Vista and 7 alright uh, as you can see uh, this is my Western Digital Passport 500 gigabyte hard drive which came with some softwares and you know if I need this software I might keep it and make a backup so before I'm gonna start doing of anything I'm gonna make this software backup to some some uh, safe places so basically uh, I already did the backup so I'm not gonna show you how to do a backup so basically um, select all the files and uh, copy them in a safe place uh, from this hard drive to some different hard drive alright so um, as you can see uh, this hard drive is uh, 500 gigabyte and 700 megabytes on software use space and everything uh, else is free also it's formatted uh, into file system FAT32 and you already read about the file systems and in my little um, notes before this video tutorial so um, alright so as you know the FAT32 is not a perfect file system and it's probably is not gonna be uh, good to my needs let's say uh, I would like to save 8 gigabyte of ISO file on the hard drive on this external hard drive and if I'm gonna use the file system FAT32 I, I'm not gonna be able to save it because the FAT32 file system uh, has the uh, file system type has the uh, maximum file size limitation up to 4 gigabytes so if uh, the file uh, one file that I would like to save on that external hard drive right let's say right now is going to be more than four gigabytes I won't be able to save it on this hard drive because the FAT32 is not accepting files uh, uh, beyond the four gigabytes in uh, file size so what I need to do I need to format this hard drive in the uh, NTFS format and to get rid of that lim file size limitation because the NTFS uh, file system type uh, up to file size up to the maximum uh, partition size so which up to two terabytes limitation so which is plenty per one file size alright so okay let me go ahead and jump into the formatting but before that let me just let you know that FAT32 uh, why, why you will ask me why Western Digital just you know fool around it and uh, format it to the FAT32 just because the Western Digital is trying to be a universal and they trying to work on Windows PCs and Apple operating systems as well on Linux so and to achieve that you need to have the FAT32 because the FAT32 file system is acceptable on all those operating systems NTFS is only accept, uh, acceptable on Windows 2000, Windows XP, 
Windows Vista and Windows 7 and it's not compatible with Apple operating system is not compatible with Windows 98 is not compatible with the uh, Linux um, operating systems alright so what I'm gonna do um, I need to format this hard drive into NTFS format file system just because it is better um, uh, file system uh, partitioning uh, because it uh, doesn't have the limitation per file storage so to do so I'm gonna click the right button and on uh, my computer and click manage it's gonna open some menu alright and then I need to go and click on disk management and it's gonna open the disk management for me format the hard drive, uh, delete the partitions, create the partitions um, reformat the partitions, resize the partitions and rename the partitions um, which is pretty cool and you don't need to use any other third parties so basically this um, uh, uh, disk management utility is perfect if you would like to uh, keep your file system in NTFS if you would like to uh, uh, format your drive or of partition to FAT32 this um, uh, disk management utility not gonna help you um, like the other ones and the other ones the ISUs um, and I'm, I already put it in my little notes so you probably read about it and you read about it why I like the ISIS um, partition utility versus the uh, Norton Partition Magic just because if you would like to convert 500 gigabyte hard drive NTFS back to FAT32 so you can use it in your PlayStation 3 and other devices it's not possible with the Norton Partition Magic you need to have um, some other third party utility and after trying 15 third party utilities I didn't uh, get uh, my partition from NTFS to FAT32 so what I, I found then after spending um, about 3 hours I found the ESUS freeware tool that did it and which is excellent tool by the way but uh, we're gonna talk about it later in this video tutorial let me go ahead and explain to you uh, some basics about the disk management so as you can see we have this little tool also how to access to this tool show it to you, you need to click start and run and run the command uh, run the command sorry disk mgmt dot msc disk mgmt dot msc click OK and it's gonna run this this is the alternative way this uh, disk management utility alright so as you can see I already made the backup always make the backup before you're gonna format or repartitioning your hard drive and um, so basically here's my strategy whatever I'm getting the internal or external hard drive I'm uh, formatting it and fat uh, from um, I'm formatting it into NTFS file system and also I'm splitting it at least in two partitions um, if you will split your hard drive in multiple partitions your seek time will be faster uh, hard drive will be seeking on one partition and faster than uh, one small partition faster than on the one huge partition so it's easier for the hard drive to seek the files on that disk hard disk so it's a good idea to split at least uh, into multiple um, disks so also if this would be my uh, hard the my main hard drive with my operating system that came with my laptop or came with my computer um, what I'm gonna do I also purchased the by the way brand new uh, laptop I'm gonna do a video tutorial on that as well I'm gonna give you a lot of tips and tricks as well and I also gonna format that hard drive from that manufacturer it's an Acer I'm gonna format